Let's examine Caesar Toes Untucked now. Now with the Caesar Toes Untucked, we're going to be accessing through our stomach pathway because we're getting through the front of the ankle, front of the shin, and then it comes and bifurcates around the knee. So it splits around the patella then makes its way up into your quadriceps as well. So then that, this is gonna be that whole target area, which is all your stomach pathway. Now with this position, which is what I'm in right now, I'll show you from the side. You're gonna have a few issues with this one because if anybody's gonna have an issue in their body, it's quite likely gonna be hips, uh, shoulders, or knees. Um, and then particularly in the front of the ankle with people that have a little bit less ability to do plantar flexion, they could just be a little bit tighter through lack of movement and lack of yin in their life, which is totally okay. For most people, you'd be able to, over time, get them into, into this position quite successfully though. Now, one of the big issues with this, like I said, could be knees. And the reason is, is the knees are too bent. So the way to make this better for people is you can use a block underneath your sit bones, like so. And that's gonna make this a little bit more comfortable because your knees aren't bent as much. Now, another option to do that is you could also use a bolster in between your inner thigh, like so. And I find this more comfortable personally if my knees have been a little bit sore. So if I do too much meditation or too much teaching of yin trainings, mm -hmm. my knees can get a little bit uh, uncomfortable with sitting cross-legged uh, all the time. So then a bolster underneath the bum like this can be really successful at making this more comfortable. If there's still pain, just keep going up so you can keep stacking them up. You know, put a couple of blocks underneath this and then that could be a position that works for them as well. Now, to try and... Uh, give reprieve from the sensation that's going to be going on in the ankles, what we'll actually do is we'll double up the bolster and <laughs> double up the mat in the middle of the mat like so. And that's just going to create a little bit of extra lift for them like so and just place that underneath the ankle and then we're not getting as much plantar flexion so that's the pointing of the toes because we're just supporting that under there. You could also use uh, a blanket if people need a little bit more um, lift in that position. So you could use something like that, roll up the blanket a little bit, oh, have it this way just so the toes can come back over it and have that over the front of the ankle. This is preferable, it's just going to be a little bit more comfortable for people. To, to have a little bit more space in this position. Now that you might find that this cuts into the um, bum sorry, cuts into the ankle quite a lot. So you might want to lift your bum up just a little bit. So again, blocks or bolster underneath the bum just to come a little bit higher. And then successfully, everybody can come into this position. Now, a compression point could only be at the back of the ankle. And so this is where the calcaneus and the talus come together. So this is part of your ankle bone and coming onto your heel bone, compressing at the back here. So if it's just sublaxed, so move posteriorly, they might get some sensation just in here, sort of behind the Achilles tendon, basically. And so for that, there's not much you can do. I would just try and remove plantar flexion. So plantar flexion, remember, is the pointing of the foot. Just reduce that a little bit by placing a blanket underneath their ankles. And that's going to be your ankle stress or your toes untucked caesar pose. Oh.